in this demonstration we will see how we can create multiple labels or plates with different names in each one. To do this we'll be using a template and a CSV file which can be created in Word, Notepad or Excel and it just consists of a basic heading title in this case room number and underneath is all of the names of the rooms. So here we have Devon Suite, Harrington Suite, De Montford Suite, Reception Room, Dining Room, and then it starts Room 1, Room 2, and so on. So that will be saved out as a CSV file. So first of all, we're going to create our new model area. So we're going to type in our width it's going to be 1200 and a height will be 1200 so we're working in millimeters and we will have a six millimeter thick sheet of material <coughs> so from our customer we have been given our design template so I'm going to open this it's called a room sign so it's a DXF file so I'm just going to open this and our customer has said to us that here's our hotel name, Manor Hall, and this is the plate what we want it to look like, and we want our room name to be in here. So how we do this to change our room name, we delete out, we open our text tool, We're going to limit it to a box size, and make sure we have center selected. Make sure we're working the reasonable size font. And we're going to say curly bracket, curly bracket, then room number. Then close it with the curly brackets. Just make this slightly bigger. And then done. And I'm just going to center it up within the design itself. And then that's it done. So all we have to do now, <coughs> select everything, open our multi-plate, hit set as template. So this is now going to be our template. We're going to load in the data, which happens to be the room numbers CSV file and here it tells us room number which is the same variable which we've typed in here and under here is all of the room numbers it tells us that 16 of these plates it's going to create it over two sheets and we can type in our, a gap in between each one if we want so we're going to go with 15 millimeters and we can say we want room number and we can say what room number one happens to be Devon suite room number six is room one plate number four is reception room and we can just create this and it will create on new sheets for us multiple designs of that template <coughs> so as we can see here this is plate one I come across there's plate or sheet two if I just go across to the default, we can see the original is still there for us. And all we need to do is machine on plate one. So for this, I'm going to group together these inner bits and then group together the outer bits. And we'll run a couple of toolpaths over this. So we start off with the outline. We come to our toolpaths tab, select 2D profiling. We're going to cut to the bottom of the material and we're going to select a three mil end mill tool. And we're gonna cut down. So we can see it's profiled around the tool. 
And if we go back and select that toolpath and select the profiling options button, we can add as many tabs around this as we choose and we can move them into place. So they're known as tabs or bridges just to hold the material into place to stop it falling out. We'll just leave it as it is for now. Apply and close. And we can simulate this to view what it looks like. But we can also do it out of a certain material. So imagine we're cutting this out of bronze. And then we're going to go ahead, select all of this, open our VBIT carving tool. And we're going to carve this tool with a 60 degree V bit. So we'll go through, carve all of these in our design. And then again, just finally simulate this. So it works its way through each plate individually. <coughs> Gives a very nice V bit carved effect into our design. And then so we can see this more clearly how it's more likely to be printed up or machined out will be using our depth color. And if we chose to, we could finally save out our tool paths to a list of machines that we have within our post processor files. So in this demonstration, you've seen how using the variables we can create a CSV file very simply and we can put in double curly brackets and the actual title and we can change and have multi-plate layout so it changes all of our room names, room numbers, whatever variable we were to choose and do it over a multi-plate layout setup.